Kelly, you wanna go for a hike? <laughs> so I had a super last minute thought this morning when I woke up that I wanted to go for a hike. Um, so I am planning to hike Mount Madison and Mount Adams, which are two 4,000 footers. And these are the last 4,000 footers that Callie has left on her list. So hopefully if we do this, she can finish her 48 today. Um, and there's also a really big event on top of the 4,000 footers today called Flags on the 48, which I've never participated in because today is the anniversary of 9-11. And they do this every year. And every year I see so many pictures of this event and it looks so cool. And every year I'm really bummed out that I didn't go for it. So I'm gonna try to make it up there and witness the flags on the 48. All right, I made it. There are so many cars here that I'm parked on the road like half a mile past the trailhead. It's kind of crazy. Usually this many cars at a trailhead would turn me off and I try to hike somewhere else, but I drove an hour and a half here and I really want to do this. So we're going to see what it's like. There's also a tent at the trailhead with someone working there. So I wonder if they're giving out information or how to hike safe and all that. So we shall see. We are officially on trail. The guy at the beginning was just asking hikers what their plans were and telling everyone that up at the summit there's 40 to 60 mile per hour winds so I'm ready for a little breeze. I packed a ton of layers in case I get cold and Callie excels in the cold and the wind so I'm sure she'll be excited up there. I started my hike up Mount Adams first via the airline trail. It's the most direct route up to Mount Adams and it's about 4,500 feet of elevation gain in just over four miles. All right, so my layers for going up. I've got this free buff that I got when I was on the AT from Outdoor 76 in Franklin. Love this thing. My t-shirt is my shirt from 46 Climbs, which is going on right now. It's the seventh annual 46 climbs which is a fundraiser for suicide prevention and I'll link information for that in the description and my shorts are biker shorts from Belief. It's my first time wearing them and they're so comfortable so far. An update on my Hoka Speed Goats. I've been wearing them for about a month on a ton of hikes and they are by far the most comfortable trail runners I've ever had. Absolutely no foot issues since I started using these and then as always and gingy socks, darn tough socks. My backpack is from Ultimate Direction. It's the Fast Packer 20, which is my all time favorite day pack. Go. You can already see that this trail has so many rocks and it's getting kind of steep, but just wait till we get closer to the summit. When I get hungry, it hits really fast. So I had to stop and take my backpack off for a second. This right here is crystal light, something other than just plain water. I've been chewing on these little energy chews. I also discovered these on the AT and now I buy them in bulk and take them on every single hike. So. I'm gonna snack on this while I keep going. Callie carries her own treats. You want some? You don't realize that it's chilly out until you stop moving. So I'm gonna keep walking, get my body temperature back up. And I did check the summit forecast this morning and it was like a high at 43 degrees at the summit. So. Entering the Alpine zone. Worst weather in America. Are you ready, Floof? I reached this point two hours into my hike and the views above treeline were absolutely gorgeous. This is where the wind starts.
I'm afraid I'm gonna get too hot with this outfit on, but I don't know, we'll see. This was a cool moment for me because this is where I got my first glimpse of Flags on the 48, which is a 9-11 memorial hike where a group of volunteers hike to all 48 4,000 foot peaks in New Hampshire and raise a United States flag up between the hours of 12 and 2 p.m. First glimpse of the flag on Mount Adams. It's about half a mile from here. Yep, I told you the rocks got worse up here. This day was the 20th anniversary of 9-11, and this event was something really special and neat to witness in person. A big group of hikers on the tiny summit of Adams, all coming together and honoring those who lost their lives. So we just went up Adams, so number 47 for her. Congratulations. Uh, Mount Madison isn't too far away, so I'm thinking we can grab her 48th peak right now. I'm a little tired. She's probably a little tired, but I think we're gonna go for it. I was up at the summit of Adams for like 15 minutes and it was really cold. My fingers started getting numb, but it's all good once you, once you start moving again. When I was hiking between Mount Adams and Mount Madison, I was actually on the Appalachian Trail for a little, and I saw a few through hikers, and it was really cool to be in that environment for a little bit, even though it was only a mile. Sit. High five. We took a quick break at the Madison Hut to have a snack and chat with a couple other hikers there, and then we were on our way to the summit of her 48th peak. Hey Callie, we're almost to the summit of your 48th peak. Do you have anything to say? Are you excited to join the 4,000 footer club? Good job! Keep going! Just less than half a mile from the hut, we officially made it to the summit of Madison and I spoiled Callie with all the treats. Time to start the hike down. We got 3.8 miles to the road. You excited? You gonna sleep in the car? So it's just after five. I'm about halfway down the mountain and I am totally wiped out. That was such a tough day. It was so sunny, it was so windy, it was cold sometimes, it was hot sometimes. Whew. But I'm really proud of Callie for doing that. She hasn't been on a hike this big in a very long time, and she never laid down, never really showed that she was tired. She's just go, 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 plopping in mud puddles. <laughs> Everyone that we pass comments about how muddy she is, which is cute, but as soon as we get home, she'll hop in the lake and clean herself off.
You did not disappoint being mud boots today.